Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Leon. I'm your friend in real estate. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how much are closing costs really? Hello, it's Brandon and Keith. And in this video, we're going to talk about how much are closing costs really? So a good rough rule of thumb from a closing cost standpoint is, is about 2% of the purchase price. What happens a lot of times is some lenders will say closing costs, and they're really only talking about maybe their processing and underwriting fees, which could be sure. anywhere from twelve hundred to eighteen hundred dollars. And it gets really confusing it, for them. It does. When I'm talking about closing costs, I'm talking about everything. When I say that two percent number, right? So um, uh, title, escrow, the appraisal fee, mm -hmm. your transfer taxes, your notary. Mm -hmm. Um, even your property taxes and annual homeowner's insurance premium, which has to be wrapped in, in, into that. So when I'm saying a 2% number, that's a rough figure. You buy a million dollar home, it's not going to be 2%. Right. So right. 2% of the purchase price. So let's say they're buying a $400,000 house. Roughly $8,000 you could expect to come in with in addition to right. your down payment. And that's not money that goes to you. No, no, that's not. Right. Yeah. So, so he's talking about everything. He's talking about everything incorporated <laughs> Correct. In, in that close. Now, who pays for that? Well, typically the buyer, but there's some, some creative ways that we can do this. So I don't want a buyer to leave this video thinking, gosh, I don't have 2%. If, mm -hmm. if you have the ability to qualify, there's a lot of opportunities for us to be able to find a way to get that covered. There's down payment assistance and cover closing costs. Mm -hmm. In some cases, we can actually raise the interest rate up a little bit to cover the closing costs. Um, we can also ask the seller to do that. Now the seller doesn't pay our closing costs because they like us, it's a negotiation, mm -hmm. but we can absolutely try to negotiate that into the price of the home. All right guys, so there are four basic options you have when paying your closing costs. Keith, what do you think? Option number one is you guys pay your closing costs yourselves. Uh, option two is there's lots of down payment assistance programs that we can get to cover the closing costs. Mm -hmm. Option three is we ask the seller to pay the closing costs. The seller doesn't necessarily pay the closing costs because they like us. We have to negotiate that in the price of the house, mm -hmm. but we're absolutely having buyers or sellers do that right now. Mm -hmm. And then option four is we can actually take a slight increase in the interest rate to get a credit to cover the closing costs. Sure. And so what's great about all of those options is it, it really depends on your situation, but our goal is working together is really just helping you minimize the costs in general. So there are some things you can't get away from, but if we can save you some money, that's the goal. Absolutely. In some cases for buyers, you can get in for le less than first and last month's rent. <clears throat> Absolutely. So if you have any home buying questions, reach out to me, Brandon Leon. If you have any lending questions about loans specifically, reach out to Keith Collins, Movement Mortgage.